Hi, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up per item shipping in WooCommerce. Um, the plugin I'm using is available from the link below, but that's Gem Products, J E M hyphen products.com, um, and uh, you can uh, purchase the plugin from there. Um, so, as I said, I'm going to show you how to set up per item. For this demo, I'm going to create two different shipping methods uh, standard shipping and express shipping. Um, and then for the standard, um, from zero to five items, the shipping will be calculated at $3 an item. Uh, for six to ten, it will be calculated at $2 an item. And for more than 11, it will be at a dollar an item. The asterisk uh, represents infinity, unlimited. So it's basically you read that rule as 11 or more. Um, very similar rules for express, um, a little bit more expensive. Zero to five items will be $5 an item. Six to ten will be $4 an item. And 11 or more will be $3. Um, very simple. Okay, so let's get that set up. So first, let's add our little shipping types, the two shipping types we said. And we're going to have standard and express. Let's get those saved, and they're in there. Beautiful. So let's start setting up our rules. We're going to add a new shipping zone. And for the sake of this demo, um, I'm just going to ship this to the United States. Let's get that saved. Make sure that's in there. Wonderful. Now let's add our rates. We're going to need six of them. There were three for each. So for the first one in standard, let's set the first three as standard. And the condition we're going to use is item count. Um, incidentally, in this plugin, you can also base your rules on the weight or the total price. Um, you can use classes. Very, very, very flexible. But I'm just going to show you a, uh, how to do it with item count. So the first rule we set was zero to five items per item would be charged at uh, was it three dollars? I have to go back and check. Yeah, three, two, one. Um, was charged at three dollars. Okay, very simple. From six to ten items, we charged at two dollars, and then from eleven and more. Remember the asterisk represents infinity. We charged at a dollar. Save those. I like to save as I go along, just the way I work. Um, because the other rates didn't have anything in, they uh, didn't get saved. So I'm just go put those in now. So very similar for Express. We want them all to be based on the item count. Zero to five was five dollars per item. Six to ten was four dollars an item. And eleven or more was three dollars an item. So very simple. Let's save that and just give it a quick check, make sure we're all set. So express first, alphabetically it lists these. Zero to five at five dollars. 6 to 10 at $4, 11 or more at $3. For standard, 0 to 5 at $3, 6 to 10 at $2, and 11 or more at $1. And the condition we're using is item count for all of them. So you saw how quickly it was to set, set those up. So let's just quickly uh, check that out. So I've quickly added that to the cart. Um, we just have one item in there. And as you can see, Express is at $5, and standard is at $3, as expected. Uh, per item three dollars per item five we've only got one in there why don't we add another one to the cart take a look at that as expected it's got up to ten and six now let's get above that five threshold let's get into six okay we've got twenty four and twelve does that match with what we'd expect six fours are twenty four two times six is twelve perfect now let's get to eleven and just show that works There we go, 33 and 11. Exactly what we would expect. 11 times 3 would be 33, and 11 times 1 would be 11. So, very, very, very quickly, you can see how easy it is to set up uh, per item shipping using this plugin. Obviously, you can use a whole lot of uh, other features of the plugin. Um, as I said, you can use start to put classes in there, you can start to do it by weight, do it by price. Um, break it down by states and postal codes. Lots of flexibility for everybody. But hopefully that's given you a good idea and helped you out. Uh, thank you for watching.